Hello violinists! In this lesson we're going to play Shepherd's Hay, an English folk song. And while this song is not too difficult to play, you can really experiment with playing louds and softs. So have a look in your music and you will see that you get two eighth notes slurred at the start and then towards the end of bar one you have two quarter notes. Now whether you slur two eighth notes or you play a quarter note you use the exact same amount of bow and that will be the whole bow. Towards the end of line one you can see a half note or a minim and we're playing that also with the whole bow but my bow travels much less fast. Now take a look underneath the first line and it says mezzo forte, MF. Mezzo forte means medium loud. Now look at the second line and you'll find the letter P and P stands for piano, as you well know, playing softly. So the first line and the second line have got contrasting dynamics and that is what we're going to explore. And by the end of the lesson, I'm hoping that you've got a good grasp of how you can achieve that. Now, in previous lessons, we've said, what can you do when you want to play louder or softer? When you play louder, you use more bow. When you play softer, you use less bow. When you play louder, you come towards the bridge with your bow, whereas when you play quieter, your bow goes towards the fingerboard. And thirdly, when you play louder, you lean into the string a bit more with your bow arm. And when you play softer, your bow is a little bit lighter and is not pressing so hard on the strings. Let's start by exploring the notes. And what I'd like you to do is to use the whole bow, focus on that. And then if you've got any brain space left, then come to the bridge with your bow a little bit closer. One and two and three, four. Well done. And I think you have been able to explore coming closer to the bridge. Now, of course, mezzo forte and piano are relative terms. So the first line is simply a lot louder than the second line. And it doesn't matter if you play at your loudest here, despite it saying mezzo forte. Just think forte, go loud. And that is what I'd like you to try and achieve on the second playing, is play as loud as you possibly can. And that means that once you are using whole bows and you're closer to the bridge, now try and let that bow arm fall into the string and use the weight of your bow arm to create a louder sound. So here we go. Three and four and... you'll hear for yourself the difference between your first playing and this second go. Next we're going on to the second line and we're going to create that contrast so I want you to go as softly as you possibly can and we know what to do. Use shorter bows, move the bow from the bridge towards the fingerboard so your bow is actually going to be much more like here and now be as light as you can. A very very different style of playing compared with how you played at the beginning. Three, four. Now, that was very different, wasn't it? Really good. If you create a contrast, that's awesome. Now, tomorrow, when you might play this tune again, and you try all these same ideas again, I think you'll create a bigger contrast. And the day after tomorrow, the contrast is bigger still. And next week, you cannot believe how much contrast you get between loud and soft playing. Let's practice the soft bit again, shall we? Although it's not indicated in your music to repeat this second line, I would like us to repeat it so that we can just explore that lighter playing a little bit more. So you noticed I was playing just around the middle of the bow, no more bow than that, 
my bow was going really close to the fingerboard and I was very very light so my bow arm wasn't going into the string at all. Let's explore that once again. At the end of this second line we'll play the da capo, DC al fine means da capo al fine. You can see that underneath your last note and that means go back to the top and then play to where you find the word fine. Fine means the end which is the end of line one. So we're playing line two now and then line one. Three, four, magnificent playing really well done so if you've learned something today why not subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button so you get updated whenever a new video is released I do appreciate that very much if you could help me on that because it means that YouTube will serve this video to other people who may not be familiar with the author strings course so many thanks I wish you many happy days practicing this and I look forward to seeing you very soon goodbye